Hi, I'm Liz Haas with Raisist Photo Mask, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to take a color photo, turn it into a, st a sand carving stencil, apply that sand carving stencil to a glass plate, and then sandblast it. The next process I'm going to do is I'm going to take SR3000 3mm self sticking film and I'm going to expose it to my artwork here, my printed artwork. I'm going to take my UV electrolyte, take my cylinder, I'm going to lay out my blanket, I'm going to apply the photo resist down, I'm going to apply my artwork face down, I'm going to wrap it up in the cylinder, and I'm going to expose it for a true 25 seconds. 20 to 25 seconds. You want to make sure that you use a stopwatch or a second hand to keep an eye on the time. All right, so now I have my finished stencil. Okay. So now my stencil is exposed. I'm going to take this exposed sheet. I'm going to place it on our washout board. Attach the magnet. And I'm going to use our hand washer. This connects to your faucet. You want to turn on the hot tap water and the nozzle provides all the pressure. So just wash one to two inches away from the mask. So now I have my sand carving stencil washed. I just need it to dry and then once it's dried I can apply it to my glass. Okay you just want to clean your glass. I'm going to take my finished stencil and this is SR3000, so it's repositionable. If I don't line it up right, I can lay it back down. I'm going to take my burnisher. I'm just going to squeegee out all the air bubbles. And just make sure that my mask is secure to my glass plate. Okay, so now I've applied my stencil to my plate. I've taped off the exposed areas. And, I, and now I'm going to sandblast it. I'm going to use our 2034 VX sand carving system. It has dual doors, it has halogen lighting, most importantly it has vortex and HEPA filtration. So I'm just sand carving this, just doing a couple light passes over the stencil. Okay, now I'm done with this and we're just going to clean this up. Now I'm just going to remove this tape. So now you can see I have my wedding photo up again and then we've transferred it over with the sand carving stencil, applied it to the glass plate and then we sandblasted it. We peeled up the mask, cleaned it and now you have your etched photo on a glass plate.